YouTube, what's going on? This is Nate here. It is Thursday, November 24th, so I hope you guys all enjoyed your Thanksgiving today. I'd like to kick off Thursday Thoughts by talking about Black Friday sales that are going on tomorrow. There are definitely a lot of good ones going on, especially in the electronics department. So if you're looking to pick up uh, some items tomorrow and you want to get the best possible price, I would recommend downloading the TGI Black Friday app. It is available free in the App Store for your iDevices, and what it allows you to do is uh, view the Black Friday ads for most of the major uh, companies out there, so you can compare them and make sure you're getting the best price possible. Tomorrow, Apple will be having a Black Friday sale. It will be taking place both in, both in the retail stores and uh, on their online store. They're going to offer some modest savings. You'll be able to get $45 off an iPad 2, $21 off an iPod Touch, and $121 off a MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, or iMac. Today, AT&T withdrew their application from the FCC, in which they were hoping to acquire T-Mobile for $40 billion. Now, over the past couple of months, a lot of people have been questioning whether or not this would be good for consumers. This would, in fact, uh, make AT&T the only major GSM carrier in the United States, uh, which would reduce competition, and a lot of people were questioning whether or not AT&T uh, would raise their prices up, and it would uh, definitely hurt consumers. Uh, but additionally, a lot of people were wondering whether or not this would make AT&T or T-Mobile uh, current um, employees lose their jobs because it would overlap with current positions already filled uh, with AT&T, but AT&T has continued to state that it would create jobs, but they failed to uh, really show any proof that this would work, and so they therefore withdrew their application. Now, this doesn't mean that AT&T isn't going to continue to uh, pursue an acquisition of T-Mobile. It just means that they're definitely going to miss their deadline of early 2012, and we'll have to wait and see whether or not this uh, acquisition will take place at all. This week, the first reviews have started to come in about the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. This is the first smartphone to be running the Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich operating system. And initial reviews are showing this is a very solid device and the best Android phone that you can currently uh, buy on the market. Now, this is going to change, of course, as more and more phones begin to ship with this new operating system. But as of right now, it definitely is the best if you're looking to get an Android phone. Uh, the only area where it's really lacking is with the camera. It's only got a 5 megapixel camera, uh, while the Droid Razor and the iPhone 4S are supporting that 8 megapixel camera. So it's a little bit lower on the photo quality, but overall it's a very solid device. Early benchmark tests show that it does perform the outperform the iPhone 4S in a browser speed test, uh, but the iPhone 4S still beats it in other areas such as GPU loading. Next up, we'll talk about the iPad 3. So this week, DigiTimes has found references to the next generation iPad in the iOS 5 source code, and it is being codenamed J1 and J2. So this just confirms that Apple is in the process of testing out the next generation iPad running the iOS 5 operating system. Additionally, an analyst this week from Display Search is stating that Apple's next generation iPad will be supporting a Retina display. Now, a lot of people were skeptical of whether or not a Apple would be able to pull this off because it will re require manufacturers to develop a large volume of high resolution displays, uh, which may not be possible. But according to the analyst, Apple will be able to do this with the help of Samsung, LG, and Sharp. So if Apple's able to pull this off, it'll be really great because I know the iPhone 4S display is uh, really amazing, but if they can bring that to a 10 inch display, it's gonna be really impressive. This week, Apple has continued to make good progress on their Grand Central Terminal retail store, uh, which a lot of people were saying would be arriving uh, in time for Black Friday, but it appears that it has now missed that deadline. Uh, the front of the store is now beginning to be unwrapped, and a lot of people are now hoping for an early December opening. So to wrap up Thursday Thoughts today, we'll talk about a possible Steve Jobs movie that may be produced by Sony Motion Pictures. Now, according to reports, George Clooney and Noah Wiley are uh, competing to play the role of Steve Jobs in the movie. So we'll have to wait and see if any more details emerge about this in the f next couple of months. So be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know whether you'd like to see George Clooney or Noah Wiley play the role of Steve Jobs. And if you feel like being awesome, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Other than that, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.